I still think Luis and Ethan are getting closer tonight. Mama, they both loved Sheridan. Maybe they're even crying over her together right now. Maybe Luis will understand Ethan's love for me. Ethan could be telling Luis about me right now. I don't know what Sheridan saw in you, but I know how she felt about you. And I was willing to give you a chance. I'll try to like you for her sake. I was, I was even about ready to tell you. What's the point now? Sheridan's dead thanks to you. I'm sorry. Luis, you don't owe Ethan any apologies. I don't have anything else to say except for this. Stay the hell away from my family. And I don't ever want to see your face on Crane property again. I don't want anyone from the Lopez Fitzgerald family to ever get involved with one of the Cranes on a personal level. You tell that to your entire family. Ethan and I agree totally on that point. All right, Julian. You and your son have made yourself very clear. So why don't you just go back to your martinis? Because we have work to do. Damn cranes. I think the whole world revolves around them. What was all that about? Who's nothing. All right. Chief, did you find anything out back? No, uh, nothing. But my men are on the way. I have to get to the hospital. We should all go to the morgue. I'll meet you there. Fine. Where do you think you're going? I'm going with you. No, you're not. I want to be there, Sam. Look, I want you to go home and be with your family, all right? I want you to grieve in private. Right. Now that's an order. All right. You call me if you hear anything. I I want to know what's going on on finding Sheridan's killer. I'll call you if I find out anything, all right? Just go home. Hey, Hank. I know you wanted to talk to me about something, but I cannot wait. I just I want to get as far away from here as I can, right? Sure. I can't believe this happened. Such a beautiful young woman with so much to live for. I'd like to look the monster in the eye who shot her in cold blood. Ethan, you're white as a ghost. What happened? I had another run-in with Luis. I can't imagine what Sheridan saw in him. All we wanted was to find out what they were going to do with Sheridan's body. Luis acted as if we were the Inquisition. And it's Luis's fault Sheridan is dead. His and Sam Bennett's. I'm so sorry, darling. I know how hard this is for you. Come upstairs. I'll try to a bath. Gwen, I'm afraid I won't be very good company. We need to be together to help each other get through this. Please, let me take care of you. I miss her so much, Gwen. We'll all miss her. Everything is going according to plan. Ethan thoroughly despises Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. He won't want to have anything to do with that family, believe me. And he will want to cut Teresa out of his life as well. Exactly. He can't think he'll ever be happy with someone whose brother is the man responsible for his beloved aunt's death. Teresa is toast. And there's one other reason to celebrate. Ethan not only hates Luis, 
He hates Sam Bennett as well, and that man's always been a thorn in my side. When this is all over, Sam and Ethan will have a serious go at it, and I'm convinced Ethan won't stop until Sam Bennett is completely destroyed. Please, Ethan. Please, it's so horrible what happened. Yeah, we were... We were just beginning. We were just starting to get to know each other. Oh, what a terrible tragedy. The whole family must be devastated. Not everyone in the family. Julian Crane's got ice water running through his veins. You'd never know in a million years that his sister was just murdered. What about Ethan? Yeah, he's pretty torn up about it. So you talked? We talked. Did he tell you anything? Yeah, he's... He said a lot of things. So did Julian. Uh, they said they'd never wanted to have anything to do with our family again. That we were to stay away from them. Ethan said that? Oh, yeah. He said that and a whole lot more. So Ethan blames me for Sheridan's death. I don't think that there's anyone in this world right now who hates me more than Ethan Crane. I'm going to get started on the autopsy, man. Good. I'm going to take a look at those bullets. If we get lucky and find the gun, we'll be able to make a match. Now, let me get this straight. You were at the pier, and you overheard two guys talking about murdering Sheridan Crane? That's right. I can hear them as clear as can be. This is the gun that killed Sheridan. And I pulled the trigger. I killed Sheridan. Pull yourself together. You have to be in control when the FBI and the local police start asking questions. First, you must get rid of the murder weapon. Your fingerprints are all over it. They were talking about killing her. Then I heard one guy tell the other guy to get rid of the gun. Next thing you know, I heard a splash. It's got to be the gun going into the water. That's what I figured. They moved their way up to that. I couldn't hear anymore. They get down to the wharf and start dragging the harbor for that gun. Yes, sir. Just a few more questions. Fire away. Did they mention any other names? No, only Sheridan. It's an unusual name. So when I heard on the radio about Sheridan Crane being killed, I, I figured it had to be her. Did you recognize either of the voices? No. But one of them had a funny accent, a Frenchie or something. That's what we thought. Any other man? Well, nothing out of the ordinary but his voice. But I know if I heard it again. You would? Oh, yes. I have an ear for voices. Thank you. Don't have to stick around. Well, I want to, especially since Luis isn't here. I want to be here for him. That's the voice. I'd know it anywhere. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> 